A young boy traveled from China to the Philippines with 10 cents in his pocket to visit his father's store. Unfortunately, the father was ill. He was shocked with the condition of his father. World War II broke and he had nowhere to go. With sheer guts, he started his own business of selling cigarettes and shoes. Started a small shop, then went bankrupt because the fire stole their business. Have you visited SM? When was the last time you went mauling and enjoyed shopping? Did you know that Henry C., the founder of SM, started his business at a very young age? Kaya mo rin yun. Kayang kaya. Do you know Matteo Goodicelli, Liza Soberano, Catherine Bernardo, or Alden Richards? Like Henry C., they are also successful business people. Do you want to be like them? Tara, copy tayo. Oops, tara, DepEd TV pala tayo. Alam mo ba na ito ang subject kung saan pwede kang yumaman? Paano? Tutok na. I'm Sir Ramid, here in A Dose of Remedy. Principles of Marketing Marketing is more than selling or advertising, but a bigger responsibility not only in business, but also in helping society in general. Yayaman ka rito! Di lang sa pera, yayabong din ang talino. Let's explore the world of business and marketing. Join me as we enter the boardroom. To learn more about marketing, we have a segment called Guess What? Is Boodle a marketing strategy? Yes or no? You'll find out the answer later on in our episode. You see marketing everywhere, but what is it? Marketing started when cavemen used charcoal drawings in communicating how to make fire and how they invented the rock wheel. However, you have to go to the cave to find the message. The message was not readily available. Fast forward thousands of years, the invention of the printing press was a game changer and it made possible the big break of marketing. It was indeed a big break, but it couldn't get any bigger because their target market couldn't read. And that made the initial marketing efforts a struggle. We find ourselves now in the 50s and the 60s, and the telephone has now become a household fixture, and mass marketing was ignited. But everyone got interrupted at dinner because of unnecessary marketing phone calls. Then, radio, television, direct mails, coupon books, flyers, posters, billboards, and door-to-door -door sales bombarding the consumer all at the same time. Problem? Everyone got bombarded. Then the golden age of marketing, the internet, blogs, article, and email marketing, social media, SEO, pay-per-click, paper impression, and more. The problem was email started out as something fun and helpful until spam was invented. Marketing everywhere you go, it's there, in your face. But what is marketing? Growing up, I used to sell bibingka. It was hard back then. But I'm thinking, if I were selling bibingka now, I think it would be a lot easier. I made twin signs written on band paper, bibingka for sale, and tied them with string. And I didn't realize it then, but it was my first advertising campaign. With a string around my neck, I had my Bibinka for sale sign in front of me and at my back. 
and I would walk around in town. That was a notch higher than advertising. I was doing a promotion. In my eagerness to sell my bibitas, I thought that the mayor would be a great customer to have and found a way to get inside the mayor's backyard. But it was considered trespassing and he had me picked up by the Barangay Tanod. I landed in the headlines when the local newspapers wrote about it. A young boy selling bibinka gate crashes mayor's home to earn a living. Now, what is that called? That is publicity. Then the mayor met me and learned about my desire to help my family. My inspiring story? That is public relations. And all the town people got to know my story and bought my bibitas. That's sales. It worked out pretty well for me, even though everything just happened to me by chance. But if I had planned the whole thing, then that is marketing. Marketing found me. The American Marketing Association, AMA, defines marketing as the activity set of institutions and processes for creating, communicating, delivering, and exchanging offerings that have value for customers, clients, and the society at large. Three important things to remember. The functions of marketing are communicate, deliver, and create value for customer. In the business world, marketing starts with understanding consumer needs and wants, deciding which target markets the business can serve best, and developing a compelling value proposition by which the organization can attract, keep, and grow targeted consumers. Today's marketers find ways to engage their customers and build deep customer relationships. Every marketing activity or strategy is anchored on concepts or orientation. But first, what is a concept? A concept is a general notion or idea about the subject. Marketing concepts are directly related to the needs, wants, and demands of our customer. What is a need? A need is the basic human requirement to live. What is a want? A want is not essential for basic survival and often shaped by culture. What is demand? When needs and wants are backed up by your ability to pay and to consume what will satisfy your needs and wants, marketing concepts are the basis of an organization to design and carry out their marketing strategies. There are five marketing concepts. Production concept, product concept, selling concept, marketing concept, and societal marketing concept. First, Let's talk about a production concept. It is the oldest marketing concept in business. Customers buy a product that is widely available at a cheaper price. Consumers favor widely available and affordable products that are made possible by a business efficient production and distribution processes. Businesses and companies that do not give any importance to the needs and wishes of customers in terms of updating their products and rely solely on the efficiency of their production processes focus on the use of the production concept. The production concept is the oldest marketing concept and was extremely popular during the period when the market was not yet that competitive. These sellers were of the mindset that people would continue to consume more of their products if industries were supplying more goods in the market at a low price. The demand was high and there was no competition. This company made use of the production concept to lower the price and to reach a wider market. 
the company improved on their production and assembly line and other manufacturing processes to lower the cost. This is still concept of a production concept because their motivation to lower the price was not spurred primarily by the customer's need for a less expensive car, but for the company's desire to reach a wider market and increase company profits. Number two, the product concept focuses more on quality, performance, and innovation. They satisfy customer needs through product development. To be more specific, these companies build products that are always at the top of their game, always the pioneers. Number three, the selling concept is a concept that focuses on the increase of sales, whether the customer needs it or not. Consumers won't buy enough products and services unless you persuade them. Selling is the foundation of this concept, especially when product benefits are hard to explain. As the sale of your business increases, the profitability would increase. Number four, marketing concept. The marketing concept focuses more on the customers in finding out ways to have products that will satisfy their needs and wants. The customer is at the core of every business activity. The marketing concept is also known as the pull strategy, meaning businesses are so powerful, customer will always return and buy more. Number five, the societal marketing concept. The societal marketing concept is all about the development of human and society's welfare. The marketer has to come up with better marketing strategies by considering the society's welfare, requirements, and customer demand. Let us learn more from this story. Henry C. was not born with a golden spoon. In fact, he belongs to a poor family in Xiamen in Fujian, China. He migrated to the Philippines when he was 12 and started working for his father's small Sari Sari store located in Quiapo, Manila. Left with only 10 cents in the pocket, C started to empower himself by studying commerce, learning the English and Filipino language at the same time. It was not at all an overnight success for Henry C. He started selling shoes on the streets of Manila under the heat of the sun and the cold of the rain. SM means shoe mark, C's flagship company. His very first branch opened in Carriedo, Manila, which became so popular and successful. Then C started selling other products aside from shoes and launched his department store and supermarket. Then he ventured into building super malls. He often visits the mall and talks to his customers and asks them what they need and want. He created a demand for his products. He was also dubbed as the father of Philippine retailing due to owning the largest group of malls in the country. With all the success that Henry has received in his career as a businessman, he never forgets to give back to the very people who help him achieve success, his fellow Filipinos. His rags to riches story never fails to amaze aspiring entrepreneurs. With our success story today, Henry C. was able to apply all the different marketing concepts in his business success. Now let's check your learnings for today. I want you to answer the following items. Number one, which of the following describes a person's basic human requirement? Essential to everyday life. A needs, B wants, C offerings, D demands. If your answer is A, you are correct. It is composed of the different marketing concepts that focus on various techniques to create, produce, and market products to customers. A, orientation. B, marketing management orientation. C, management. D, all of these are correct.
If your answer is B, you are. Correct. Amazing. This is the oldest marketing orientation concept that is based on the belief that consumers prefer low prices and product availability. A. Selling concept. B. Product concept. C. Marketing concept. D. Production concept. If your answer is D, amazing, you are correct. This is a concept using the inside-out perspective. It starts with the factory, focuses on the company's existing products, and calls for heavy selling and promotion to obtain profitable sales. A, selling concept. B, societal, marketing concept. C, product concept. D, marketing concept. If your answer is A, give it up. You're doing a good job. Who is the father of Philippine retailing? A, Lance Gokongwei. B, Lucio Tan. C, Henry C. D, Socorro Ramos. If your answer is C, you are correct. How many correct answers did you get? If you did not get all the correct answers, you can always go back to this episode and review the key concepts of our lesson. Guess what? Is Boodle a marketing strategy? Yes or no? Boodle is a type of modus operandi. What is a modus operandi? It's a Latin word which means operating method, a term used by law enforcement authorities to describe the particular manner in which a crime is committed. The modus operandi is both simple and sophisticated. The robber gets the trust of his victim, often a stranger, so the victim freely gives him what he wants. When we go to malls, there are salesperson who would say that you'll get a free umbrella if you just sign a form. And I have a friend, Nanabudol, who became a victim and he signed an insurance policy. Poodle is never a marketing strategy. It's a trick, so you need to be careful. So remember, marketing is communicating, delivering, and creating value for the customer. There are five marketing concepts. Number one, production concept. Production efficiency, low price. Number two, product concept. Innovation, product development. Three, selling concept sales-driven and persuasion skills. Fourth, marketing concept, customer-centered. Number five, societal marketing concept, society and customer-centered. But before we end our lesson for today, let me leave you our Tagumpay quote from Henry C., founder of SM Prime Holdings Corporation. There is no such thing as overnight success or easy money. If you fail, do not be discouraged. Try again. When you do well, do not change your ways. Success will not last if you do not take care of it. As for Sir Ramid, there's no substitute for hard work. Lahat pinaghihirapan ni na nam nam. Let us now go back and exit the boardroom. Thank you for joining us in our pilot episode. Next week, we will get to know you more. Ikaw bilang customer. Why are you important in business? Don't forget to subscribe to our Depth Ed TV YouTube channel and hit that notification button. Join us again here in a dose of Remedy, Principles of Marketing. Marketing is not only selling or advertising, but it's a bigger responsibility, not only in business, but also in helping our society. Yayaman ka rito bilang sa pera, yayabong din ang talino mo. Here on DepEd TV!